Cajun cuisine has been a popular trend for a long time now, but one New Orleans restaurant, a restaurant in the East, is showing what happens when the fusion is from the combination of two families from across the globe. Ian McNulty, food writer for the Times, picking you, New Orleans advocate, is here now with their story. Sir, good morning to you. Happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday, Brandon. Great to be here. We made it to the end of another week, and we, we got some, some good news here from New Orleans East. Uh, this is the kind of restaurant I just love to find and talk about sure. because it's so special, because it really does come from this fusion of families. So we're talking about Nola Thai, and this is, on its face, a traditional Thai restaurant. So you've got your pad Thai, your curries, your big soups, uh, but behind the scenes, it's a family story. And that story is one of Gerald and Benji. So Gerald is a New Orleans guy, grew up in New Orleans with New Orleans food, with New Orleans family. Mm -hmm. Benji, his wife, she's from Thailand. Her mom had a restaurant. Uh, her mom sadly passed away uh, during COVID and she decided that she was going to open a restaurant as a tribute to that family legacy. And she found in her partner, Gerald, uh, also a family legacy. His father had been a long time uh, cook at Roos Chris for decades and decades. So together, uh, oh, they put they together their culinary influences, mm -hmm. their passions, their New Orleans heritage, their Thai heritage, and they came up with Thai Nola. And it's on Bullard Avenue in New Orleans East in a strip mall. And Brandon, right. you could drive by this place every day and not know it was there. And that's what I was gonna talk to you about because we just showed a picture there of not only the food, but also the entrance. And so you would never know that you'd be <laughs> getting that food if you just drove right past it. But when you drive, when you walk in, you park, you walk in, what you're gonna find is most often Gerald right mm -hmm. there at the counter greeting you, guiding you through the menu. That's why it's so good because he's, he's able to be an ambassador for his wife's cooking and also for his family's cooking. So on the blackboard behind him, you'll see right there, that was a Monday, red beans, hot sausage, ah. with jasmine rice, of yes. course. Yes. Uh, so many of his mother's dishes cycle through. Today is a Friday. That means they'll have their Creole gumbo on the blackboard, oh, which they say by. always sells out. It okay, always sells out. It's early. really good. But what I love, Brandon, is like right alongside that, you've got this deep running Thai tradition. And those mm -hmm. flavors are fresh mm -hmm. and clean. Uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be going to be healthy, but it can be healthy and sure. light. <laughs> Well, it, it also, you know, along those lines, I mean, there are some, you, you may not think that the two pair well together, but some parallels, for instance, just the use of seafood, um, oh, yeah. you know, other, other very fresh tastes. You know, you, you find here in Creole, New Orleans. Absolutely, and, and this is one of my favorite dishes here. It's a great segue. This is their uh, Thai Nola shrimp. Uh, so it's, it's boiled shrimp, just like you do in your backyard, mm -hmm. uh, but served with those light rice noodles, uh, with a fish sauce, with chilies, with lettuce and fresh herbs, and you combine all that together and you just make the perfect bite. And it tastes a little bit Louisiana, right. but very much Thailand, and that, that's what Thai Nola is all about. And I just love the oh, way, oh, this is chicken? another great example. This is the chicken. Oh. Okay, it's served over fried. This just looks like fried chicken and fries at your mm -hmm. favorite down-home restaurant. Mm -hmm. But the batter uh, has a bit of a tempura crust to it, uh, different seasoning throughout, uh, a little bit of chili heat. So it's a Thai fried chicken, uh, but served up right here in New Orleans East. And people have found this place, believe yeah. me. It, it's become quite the popular spot. There's a lot of regulars, and that's what tells you that no matter what the cuisine is, this has become a neighborhood restaurant when you've got your neighborhood spot. I mean, just look at that. That's, that's Monday right there at a Thai restaurant. Red beans and jasmine rice with some hot sausage and cornbread. <laughs> it's got to be a tough assignment going around exploring these places, experimenting, mate, shall we say. Well, the, the only difficulty, oh, there's the gumbo, there's the oh. Friday gumbo. The only difficulty, Brandon, is keeping up because there's so much going on in the New Orleans restaurant world uh, and people are so passionate about the food, whether it's uh, the restaurants that they've been going through for years and years or these new discoveries. And I just love the way that New Orleans people put their stories into their restaurants and share that with us. And it's the most accessible form of culture I think we can share. Well, and Ian, sir, we thank you for sharing their story with us. Mr. Ian McNulty, sir, you can find Ty Nola at 5931 Bullard Avenue.